What's up, guys? Today, we will guide you through how to utilize a soft starter in conjunction with a bypass contactor for achieving an on-delay soft start of a motor. These are the components we require for this operation. The Terminal 1 and 2 are intended for connecting the bypass contactor, and the Terminals 3 and 4 are for time delay connection. These all are passive contacts requiring an external power source connection. In normal condition, Terminal 7 must be shorted with Terminal 10 or connected to an emergency stop button. If Terminals 7 and 10 are open, the soft starter will stop working anyways and enter a fault protection state. Power on the soft starter and press the set key. Navigate to parameter FC. Set FC to 2 to allow modification of parameters. Press SET again to set the timing for programmable output with parameter FE. Choose the appropriate output timing based on your application needs. Here we select 2 which initiates the soft start sequence upon bypass activation. You can see that after each parameter value, there are additional values in parentheses which indicate the conditions when terminals 3 and 4 are normally closed contacts. Set the desired delay time for the soft start sequence in parameter F4 to 3 seconds. This will close the normally open contacts of terminals 3 and 4 after 3 seconds. Now, let's conduct a test run of the system. Press the run key. The motor starts running and the timing starts upon bypass contactor being activated. After 3 seconds, the stack light turns on, indicating the delay closure. The programmable sequence output mode operates based on each startup process, with automatic interruption and restart if the motor is started again. By following these steps to incorporate a soft starter and a bypass contactor, you can achieve a controlled soft start for your motor, reducing stress and ensuring efficient operation. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more insightful content on motor control systems and industrial automation.